Welcome back to Hard West. Let's keep going in our search for Solomon Delir. So I'm, I'm supposed to meet the expelled order member at the Opium Den. Have any other locations opened up since then that I haven't visited? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Opium Den it is. A Chinese man welcomed them with a smile, which turned into a frown, and they told him they only wanted to speak with one of the patrons. He rolled his eyes as he waved them into one of the rooms. Perez knew these places and was unfazed. Sister Aiza was, was disgusted by the addict's sloth. Finally, they beheld Gustav Wethholm in all his confused, bemused glory. They asked him to find some pants. It took an hour for Wedholm to, con to come to a census, but through a combination of kindness and cruelty, Cervantes brought him back into awareness. Wedholm explained that he was no longer a member and had never been trusted with one of the cipher pieces himself. However, he knew the identities of several order operatives in the region. Though he had a rough idea of their whereabouts, details such as names and appearances escaped him. For a price, however, he could call on his associates to fill in the blank. Okay, well, let's see about the one in the mine. He knew that one order member worked at the nearby mine. His memory was hazy as to his exact position or what he looked like. Fine, I'll pay 200. The man was one of the regular miners. Guy named guy name was Jim Rapkins. All right, what about the brothel? He remembered one member of the order had worked at the brothel. He was a bouncer, or maybe a prostitute, or a patron, or the piano player. The owner, he just couldn't rightly recall. The man's name was Bernard. L Lacroix, Lacroix. He'd make a fortune gambling and now spent all his time and money at the Bravo. I have enough to do one more. Alright, the saloon. One definitely remembered there was an order member who hung out at the saloon. He was almost sure he was a man. Then again, his recollection was hazy. The man's name was Tino Neubacher. He was an Austrian mercenary who hung out at the Co Coopertown Saloon. I can't do the last one because I can't afford it, but maybe after I do a couple of these, I might be able to. If not, I might just have to kill everybody at the distillery. It is what it is. All right, so let's visit. The brothel. The brothel was owned by Madame Kimberly Hosmer, a respected philanthropist who ran a reputable shop. Someone here was a member of the order, whether one of the patrons or the women. Simply slaughtering them all would surely gain Cervantes new enemies. Cervantes entered the establishment and confronted Madame Hosmer. When she proclaimed that Bernard Lacroix had been worshipping evil Indian spirits, when he proclaimed that Bernard Lacroix had been worshipping evil spirits, the man was defenestrated without delight. He found a cipher piece in his ruptured abdomen. Right. And mine. Dozens of men worked in this mine, which supplied iron for the entire region. One of its workers was a member of the order. Cervantes went to the mine foreman, Michael Schaffin, and told him about the demon worshipper in their midst. Horrified, the foreman asked who could it be. Cervantes said he felt awful disclosing the man's name. The foreman begged him. Finally, Cervantes relented and told the foreman it was Rapkins. The foreman said they should bury Rapkins alive. Cervantes told him he would need access to the body afterwards for purification. So it was that the miners bound Rapkins and shoved dynamite down his throat. 
They cheered as they detonated him, and Cervantes saw the glint of the cipher piece as it flew across the torch-lit cavern. He recovered it and made his exit, the cheering of the men at his back. Alright, raffle. Or, I mean, saloon. The Cooperdown Saloon was a typical Western saloon, full of strong drink, stone-faced poker players, and women of ill repute. Among their number lay a member of the order. Cervantes stormed into the saloon and accused Neubacher of spying for the Austro-Hungarian uh, Hungarian Empire to prepare for an invasion by their, his emperor. While most had never heard of the place, they were quick to beat the life out of the man. Cervantes demanded that the traitor's body be burned to ashes and the crowd was more than happy to oblige, passing jugs of whiskey as the pirate's flames lit the night. When they dispersed, the Inquisitor recovered the cipher piece and rode off. So I can't afford information for the last one. Maybe I can sell some stuff off. Oh, I have 180 gold. I made gold on each one of those. Cool. I don't need to sell a lot, then. this guy not have cash? Well, that's a bummer. Okay. Let's go to the gunsmith then. Hopefully the gunsmith has money. Yes. get information on the last order number. I've been to the brothel, right? Not sure why I chose that one still. The order member's name was Brendan Hennessy, owner of the local distillery. They came to the Brendan Hennessy Distillery. The brand was well known in the region and beyond for its remarkable flavor. The Grand Inquisitor had reason to believe it sheltered a member of the Order. Every member of the Order in the area was dead, but the cipher was still incomplete. The Inquisitor hoped that Venholm had more information to offer. Cervantes surprised Hennessy and tied him up. Then he climbed with him onto a catwalk and attracted the attention of the workers below. He told them that their boss had high, their boss, the high priest of a cult of devil worshippers. Worse, he had been cheating them out of their paychecks using the extra cash to pay for his dark rituals. He said if the man were truly good, he would resist the flames. If not, he would burn. Little did the workers know that Cervantes had soaked Hennessy's clothes in alcohol. Then the flames spread across his body immediately as the workers cheered. Cervantes let the man die twisting and flailing in the flames rather than put him out of his misery. When the fire went out, he recovered the cipher piece. Right, back to the opium then. When they revisited the den, they found Wedholm sleeping, his hands folded on his chest, clutching an envelope addressed to the Grand Inquisitor. The message was from a woman ma named Cassandra, who said she was being held prisoner at an abandoned mine. It said the clairvoyant was here too, along with many other order members, and provided copious information about the compound. This sounds like a trap. 
The letter from a supposed ally was an interesting turn of events. However, the motivations of the sender were a mystery. Cervantes hoped to finally deal with the clairvoyant who remained a thorn in his side. Alright, um... Sister Aiza, she's got a double 10 gauge and a regular 6 shooter. I might want to get her a better, better pistol. Let's see if we can get her an upgrade. Volcano pistol would be pretty good. Lots of ammo. So I had something with better. This one's pretty good because it's got all that ammo and the aim bonus. I like the aim bonus. Cervantes knew it was a secret base for the Order. According to the letter, the clan Voya and this prisoner were there. Cervantes felt uneasy, worried that it might be a trap. That's what I'm thinking. Still, it was their only lead. The letter helped them plan their attack. They could strike when fewer men were at the compound or wait until the arrival of a convoy when there would be more men but they could use the wagons as cover. Alright, it's not really giving me a choice. Switch out her loadout. We'll give her the 12 shooter and the Western rifle. Shotgun is great damage, it's more damaging than this than either of the weapons, and it can do the spread shot, but it's only two shots. I have to reload it all the time. Which is a bummer. Alright, talismans, I have none. Well that's a bummer. Give her the relic. And I'll give her an eagle elixir. And I have nothing to give her for that. Oh well. Alright, now. Oh, I could do a three of a kind. Does three of a kind do again? Plus 30 max luck hits. Nah, I mean, it's it's good, but... Could do two of a kind. Shriek. Plus, plus five aim. That plus five aim is good. I'm gonna keep his two aces for now. See what else I can do. Can't quite do a, a straight. And I can't do a flush. I can do a three of a kind. I can do a pair. I can do two pair. Ooh. So plus one HP, plus one HP, plus five A, plus five A. Whoever I give this to is going to have super duper aim. Who do I want to give super duper aim to? She's got the rifle. Give it to her. And 
two pair plus ten defense. Great. Good. And we'll give him three of a kind. I'll give him the bonus luck. And let's see. We have one card left. Gives plus four sight and the terror ability. Good. Let's do this. The old mind would soon become the clairvoyance tomb. That's the plan. Indeed, the abandoned mind was not so abandoned. As they reached the compound, they instantly saw armed men. They suspected their new friend was locked up in the shed. All right. So we got Gab Inquisitor Gabriel de Cervantes here, Joaquin Perez here, and her here. Okay. And she's locked up in here and can't do much of anything. Still don't trust her, but whatever. It is what it is. So first things first, I should get cover and preferably kill one of these douchebags. Ah, oh, I haven't been spotted yet. Ooh. Ooh, that is nice. Okay. So I can scout a bit. I might even be able to break her out without starting the battle. And maybe use her as an ally, though. She doesn't really have any weapons, but... Right, let's have him scout around. Let's have him come by here and take a peek inside. Don't see anybody in that building. We'll have her come over here. And the Inquisitor. I don't want to get their attention just yet, so I'm not going to move up that close. So I don't know if I come up here if they'll spot me. So go over here. Move him over to here, nice and slow. I want to make sure if there's someone around the corner, I don't get spotted. All right, I'll move her over here. She give me a look inside this building. Aha, there's someone over here. Okay. I spotted? I think this guy spotted me. I'm gonna need to start this soon. Alright, let's get him. Over to here. Uh-huh. Okay, we're gonna be starting this soon. And there's somebody over here. So I'm gonna get Sister Aiza over here. That guy's gonna die. And then we'll get the preacher man over here, and I can kill either of those guys. Okay. So, we got. I don't wanna sit there. We are going to be killing people. 100%. Definitely not going to want to use the rifle, so yeah. This guy just dies right here. This guy out in the open like a dum dum. 70% or 100% with the 12 shooter. <laughs> ah. Oh, that was good. That was good. 
All right. He does seven damage. That's right. He's got that bonus plus two damage. Or six damage with that. Now let's kill this guy. Damn. Okay. Now those guys have cover, unfortunately. It's not the end of the world, though. Someone moving up here. Oh, the guy moving up here. Okay. Someone moving this way. Okay. And there's a person up there. All right. So I should get, get over here by this barrel, and then I'll have a clear shot on this guy. I don't think he'll get any cover bonus. I could. I can't get quite over here in one round. I could get over. Let's get over here. Ah, oh, he still gets cover? That is rock. Okay. Alright, let's move him up to here. Shadow spotted, okay. I know there's somebody here, I guess I can't shoot him. I don't have any, I don't have ricochet. Oh, there's this guy though. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I think he's still gonna get the cover bonus on me. Nope, no he's not. Well then. There's somebody here. I won't be able to shoot him this round, I don't think. But I could maybe get a good defensive position. Like here. Nowhere did I have full cover, huh? That's out of bounds. It's partial cover, partial cover. Alright. Now I can see the person. Well, I'm glad he ran to cover instead of around me where he would have gotten a clear shot. He's that he still got me, but I only got shot for one. And that guy's still out in the open, because he's an idiot. I guess that's only as far as he could move and still have his uh, action point to shoot. So it worked out for me. That guy's in cover, unfortunately. But so am I. Alright. I could try to shoot him from here. Neither one of those is very good, but I can get over here. And then he's out in the open, and he's a dead man. Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. All right, this guy's out in the open. He's a goner. This. Sixty-nine percent, or I could scope shot him. There's nowhere I can get to where he won't be in cover. Neither of these is very good. I could move maybe over here and maybe lure him out of cover. Because he can't shoot me from there. Let me move here. That sounds like a good idea. Let's try to lure this guy out. Too bad there's no way through here. I try to flank this guy. Instead, I think I'm going to get over to here. I 
Oh, I forgot about this guy. Whoops. That's a problem. Right, this guy needs to die. And this guy moved, but not where I wanted him to. So... Let's move over here and I'll see if I can see the guy. No, he's still in the same spot. He wasn't going to be stupid and come out of cover. All right, I'll give you credit. Fine. We'll trade bullets in front cover. That sucks. Oh, that guy ran that way. That's cool. That could have been a lot worse for me. He should have rushed inside the building. That would have been the smart thing to do. But that's not how you do it, so... Okay, I could move him to here, but that would kind of, yeah, here would he be, I think this is the best spot. I think I'll get a clear shot on that guy. Oh, I can't see him. Son of a bitch. Alright. This is only half covered. Alright, you know what? Back inside the building I go. This guy's done. Can I open this door? I discovered a young woman, undoubtedly the author of the letter. She agreed to join their cause. Sweet! She's on my side. And I still got a movement point. Alright, let's move him to here. I'm gonna flank around this side. We're gonna keep this guy pinned down. Her, that is a lovely dress you got there, madam. Madam Cassandra. Alright. He's way out here. She's got a derringer, so she's not gonna be any good at long range, but we gotta get her over here. Be nice to help him out, but long ways away from that. Maybe I move her to here. Ah, she won't get any cover. I'll move her here. She's only got five health, so I, I gotta make sure to keep her safe. Ow! That was uncool. can I move him? I could move him to here. And I think I could have a shot on this guy. If I move him here. Here I'll be out in the open, but I might just kill him. Still, I don't like to leave one of my guys here. Ah, all these things will be in the way, though. I don't think I'll have a shot on the guy. Alternatively, I could get to here. And now I could provide support for uh, the Inquisitor. I won't be able to do anything this round, but next round. Good. We'll move her. I don't think I can shoot him from here. Ah, uh, she'll be open to this guy, though. Well, not. she'll still be in cover, though. Her here. Ah, she doesn't have a shot on him. She does have a shot on him, though. It's only 47%, but screw it, we'll take it. Or I could move her to a better spot to kill this guy. That might be a better idea. I'll move her here for now, and then I'll be able to move her up to here next round. She's not going to be able to shoot right now, anyway. The Inquisitor. Damn. 
guy move. Damn it. No more clear shots for me. That guy moved. Oh, there's still the guy up there. I forgot all about him. But he hasn't moved yet. But this guy's a dead man now. I can move her here. Although she might be open. Ah, uh, nope, that's blocked this way. Okay, good. Let's move her here. And you're done. That's good. Don't have to worry about that. Alright, so this guy... Is there a way to get up there? Oh, there is. She's not the person to be firing at him, though, because she's just got a derringer. Let's move her here. I'm not so sure about that. How can I move him and still get a shot? Here, eh. Oh, I can go, oh, I can have her come around this way. Okay. Okay. He's unhurt. He's got a rifle. Can I get up here and still shoot? I can. I, I don't think I can kill him, though. She can't do enough damage to kill him. But I could probably kill him next round. Alternatively, I could come over here. Let's move him to a safe location. Maybe I can draw those guys out. We need to move her somewhere safer. Uh, that'll be within his radius. He'll 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 spot me. He won't be able to shoot me where he is though. Um, right here should probably be blocked from this side. Actually, this is probably a good spot. I don't think they'll be able to shoot her because this wagon's in the way. Or a broken piece of wagon. So let's move her here. Actually, I'm going to move her all the way over here. Uh, no, I don't know about that. There. Let's move her here for now. It's a nice safe location. Let's find where he is. I can have him reload. Should have taken the nail bomb with me. And him, we'll move him into position here. And we'll climb that fence next time. Up to here. She's done. Okay, next place. Damn it. I'm nowhere to get, oh, I can get cover. I can get cover here. And I can still shoot. Excellent. Okay. I won't be able to shoot this round, but what I can do... Well, I can shoot with the pistol. Oh, six damage, too. Alright, let's do it. Nice.
Well, well, well. Fortunately, both these guys have six health. Here. I don't think she'll be able to get a shot off from here. No. Move him by the window, and I can shoot from here, I'm pretty sure. I sure can, and this guy's dead. Now. Finish this guy. Ah, son of a bitch. I can move her again, but I won't be able to get a shot up. I can move her here. That's a good idea. Okay. Alright, so that guy's here. Flank him. He could come around this way. Oh, I could probably get the nun by the window and get a clean shot at him. Over here, then. Let's take Cassie and we'll put her over here. Alright, let's finish this guy up. I got one more bullet left in this gun before I gotta reload. Let's make this one count. Good, 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 good. That guy ain't moving. Alright, that's fine. You're about to get a nasty surprise, buddy. What's that? Oops, you've been spotted. I'm even going to use the shotgun, because that's how I am. Every member of the Order had been dispatched. Now, they only needed to cut the cipher piece from the clairvoyant, still warm corpse. <laughs> yeah. 